almost done it. And you just had to put your little your little paws on it. Look at those little paws. Oh. Hi there, Michelle here, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be crocheting myself a tote bag. Okay, I look disheveled. My hair is a mess. I'm a hot garbage mess right now. I hate summer so much. But anyways, when I have a creative genius idea. I need to do it. I'm actually pushing aside another project that I already started because this one, this one, I have to do it. I have to do it now. It's a tote bag. Nothing super out there in, in the sense of the shape of it. It's gonna be a square. I have been a fan of this show for many, many moons. Everyone's into it now, which is great because now I can say these references and people will understand it. The show is, I think you should leave. I was trying to tell my sister since season one to watch it she didn't want to watch it then suddenly season three comes out and she's on the bandwagon so i'm like okay great i can talk to someone about about the show now this show was made by comedian tim robinson he's the main guy he used to be on snl then he had a show called detroiters which was amazing it got two seasons and then you know but out of that show he created i think you should leave with a bunch of, with with other writers i just can't think of them on the top of my head this show is not for everybody okay it's a certain specific type of humor that a little awkward and a little out there. Season three has come out about a month ago and I wasn't even thinking about it. I was just like, you know, fun, love, love it. I'm gonna watch it, hilarious, great. I didn't think I was gonna make anything devoted to it. And then literally last night, I thought of the brilliant idea. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to create a tote bag that has his entire order of the drive through 55 burgers, 55 fries. And I'm like, I need to make this into something. And first, my, my first thing was like, I should make this into a sweater. It's such an obscure reference that I don't want to make this huge project of it. And then like, nobody gets it. Where if it's a tote bag, I can use it more. What I ended up doing is I got my handy dandy iPad. I went on Procreate last night and I spent probably a good hour figuring out how to type out this text. This is kind of what it looks like right now. And I'm actually gonna do the front and the back because the amount of things he orders, the tote bag would be as long as a dress if I were to do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a front panel and a back panel of all the things that he says. 55 burgers, 55 fries, 55 tacos, 55 pies. Watch the episode, it's on Netflix. If you haven't already seen it or you haven't seen it already on TikTok because it's everywhere on TikTok now. Anyways, I have like the front and the back panel ready to go. It is going to be tapestry crocheting, which I love. Tapestry crocheting is honestly my favorite form of crocheting. It might scare you, but once you get in the rhythm of how you're crocheting, time flies because you get to a point where you're like, oh, like I want to see what this looks like if I went a little bit further. And then you get to that point, you're like, well, I wanna see what it looks like if I get a little bit further. I don't know, it just keeps me crocheting if it's tapestry. The colors that I chose, I actually picked out this color here. I went to Michael's today. It is the Impeccable Yarn. Now I've done a lot of my tapestry work with Impeccable. So that's why I went with it because I can just take the grid from previous projects and you know, use it with this project. This color here is called Heather. It's this beigey cream color. It's not off-white. It's more on the beige side. And then I actually have this one here, which I got from my Handy Danny yarn stash. Look at that. This is actually leftover yarn from my checkerboard pink and orange sweater that I did a few months ago. I can't believe it's already been a few months. I decided to pick these colors because they are very retro. And if you've watched the show, their intros to their sketches and like the intro to the show, the fonts, everything is very like 1970s. I feel like these two colors together work. I was actually contemplating, contemplate, contemplate. I was thinking about getting this really nice kind of royal teal blue color and, and put it with like more of a pumpkin-y orange. I actually went right up to the cache. I was in line and I'm like, no, I decided against it because I feel like it'd be too bright. Whereas if this is the main color, I did buy two. I don't think I'm going to need two, but I bought two of these. This is going to be the main bag color. And then this is going to be the text. I don't think I need any more than this for the text. And I'm pretty sure I have leftover like more of this yarn, so I don't have to go buy it. They kind of give of like retro or vintage, you know, like A and W kind of vibes because he is going through a drive through fast food chain. Why not? We're going to see how it goes. This is just a fun, quick little project. I did not have this idea 24 hours ago. This is how like spur of the moment I need to get this bag done type of project. Let's just get right in to making this tote bag. Last night, I actually got the first word done, which says 100 
tenders. This is kind of like the best that I can do for the crocheting this because the problem with crocheting it's not like knitting knitting it's nice straight rows but when you go crocheting it's like you're going this way and then when you're going on the opposite way you're going this way so it's you know it's kind of leaning you look at it and you can read tenders and that's that's all I care about is that you can read it you know it's not going to be perfect if I think about it too much it's gonna it's gonna stress me out this is just a fun quick project and I just I love it so far the only problem with tapestry like crocheting is uh you know you get too involved in it that you don't realize you made a mistake I made a mistake at the very first the very first letter of this thing I was only supposed to do one and I did two so I gotta take all of this apart Fun. Something that I have to do while doing this, look how good this is looking so far, is that every single time I start a new word or like a new line of words, what I have to do is I have to count. So like on here, I have like there's three, I have to make sure there's three, and then there's a space, and then I have to make sure there's a space. So it's three space, three, two spaces, three, one, three, one. Oh no. See, this is why I have to do it because I've already made a mistake. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. I've already made a mistake. I was trying to show you like how not to make a mistake and then I made one. This is why I have to do it because right here is actually supposed to be the R. I don't know how I did that. It's supposed to be a gap here and then this is supposed to be the G. This is supposed to be the E. This is supposed to be the R and S. So I have an extra letter in here. I have to now take apart. So I took it apart to my mistake and now I'm going to redo it and hopefully do it right this time. So that's supposed to be five, five, B, U, R, G, E, R, S. Great. As long as like the first line's done, I'm pretty good at keeping track of where to go. This is what it's looking like right now. It's actually looking pretty good. I got the first part done. So this is part one. It's not as big as I thought it was going to be. It's just like a regular larger size tote bag, which I'm fine with. I thought it was going to be extremely big and I was going to have to change my plan and make a pillow out of it. But I don't have to do that anymore. What I'm going to do is I'm going to end it here. And then I'm going to start the next piece. So they're going to be two separate pieces. And then I'm going to sew them together. I am going to go grab a, um, whatchamacallit? My yarn stretchy outboard. I don't remember the name. Or those puzzle exercise mats. And I'm going to pin it down. So maybe it will just stop curling. And then maybe give it a steam. Again, once I'm in the groove of it, it goes pretty fast. I use one of these exercise mats that I actually just got out of Winners. People who live in the States. Marshalls. Also TJ Maxx and TJX. They came in a pack of four. They're about like that thick, right? Also, I think it was like $14 for the pack of four. Anywho, what I did is I took these little tiny pins right there. I just kind of stretched it out and I pinned it up and now I'm going to leave this for a few days just until the second side's done. When the second side's done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this side off and put the other one on because I feel like it will be stretched out by then. So yeah. For today's crocheting, I'm already on side two, which is great. I'm actually going to be crocheting at the drive-in in my car. I have this done and I'm hoping to work on it a little bit today before the movie starts. So that's great. We're also watching Spider-Man. Everything has been going pretty good. Because it's crochet, you can kind of see like the difference between lines because it's kind of staggered. These ones are a little bit different than these. I'm kind of getting into this trouble with this end here and I don't know what to do. Right here is supposed to be like kind of filled in with the orange, but it's not filling in because it's, it's the way you crochet, right? It's kind of like going all over the place. What I did is I took it apart and then I just kind of like just stitched back and forth where this end would be. I added an extra stitch here and then I kind of put this extra string through to see if I like took it all apart and put another stitch down here and it's just it's looking just looking like an H. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do about that. I think I'm just gonna go back to the way it was. Honestly this always happens. It's late at night. I'm like I'm um, I'm literally on the last the last phrase. <sighs> I'm like, I'm just gonna get it done today. I'm gonna like push through and get it done. Uh, it's not gonna happen anymore. I'm five rows away from being all done. And then I realized that this right here is wrong. It's wrong. It's supposed to be one, two, three, four, five for the M. And I only have four, which means I have to take everything apart now. <sighs> Yeah, I'm going to call it quits for today because I'm tired. That's it for today. Tomorrow it will be done. I still have to like put a lining in and I still have to put the handles in and everything like that. But I could have been done it today had I 
done it properly. Yeah, I gotta fix that tomorrow. All right, back at Fabricland. I feel like I've been spending a lot more time here than usual. I needed to buy some straps for this bag and I thought that the bright orange would suit the bag perfectly. That is what I picked out. Are you walking on my project, Pippin? Almost done it. And you just had to put your little your little paws on it? Look at those little paws. Oh. Ooh, the paws. Oh, now your paws on my arm. Okay. This last word, I swear, this last word is gonna get me. I went from having not enough spaces to having too many spaces in the M now. How is this? even possible did it well i didn't finish it but i finally got it where it's supposed to be i don't know why it took me that long second piece is now done as you can see how it's like rolling and stuff so i'm gonna see if putting the little pins in here helped it take all the pins out there's still a little bit of roll in this corner and this corner i didn't wet it because some people will like spray it it's fine it's all gonna get stitched up anyways just look at the difference though pin this one on here and this one i think i'm just gonna lay flat somewhere maybe underneath something heavy just to you know keep it nice and flat and now it's time to pin this one Bye -bye. She never wants attention, never. But when I'm filming and crocheting, that's when she wants the attention. What are you doing? Please don't sit down. Don't sit down, don't do it. It is all pinned. I'm probably not gonna let it sit as long as the other one. The other one, I think I had it sitting for like three, four days because I kind of want to get this done. So I'll probably just have it pinned overnight and then take it off. Okay. So where am I right now? Sometimes I sit down and I'm just like, what am I filming? I let this sit overnight. I should probably give it a few more days, but uh, no, I'm just gonna go done. Here's this, um, oh, what stabbed me? This is the first one that I did that I let sit for a few days and it's still kind of curling and yes, I know, I could steam it. But you know me, I have a problem of not steaming anything that I have, even though I say I'm gonna steam things. Don't steam them. So maybe I'll steam these. Maybe I'll I'll get some like clips and steam them. And maybe I'll get all my steaming done. Who am I kidding? I'm I'm probably not gonna steam everything that I, I need to steam. So I'm gonna get this done today, I think. It was a really fun project crocheting, and I'm kinda upset like the crocheting part is done. Cause tapestry crocheting, I'll I'll keep saying it, is literally my favorite thing to crochet. It flattened itself a little bit better than it was yesterday. I'm going to be sewing these two sides together. And I was kind of thinking about this after all. I was done the whole project. Now that I have to like stitch it together, I probably could have instead, see like this and just went all the way across and have like one big piece. But here's the problem. I make mistakes, say I make a mistake over here, but I'm already up here, which would mean I have to take all of that off. I'd have to frog the entire thing. Doing things in smaller pieces um, prevents me from making giant catastrophes while crocheting. Today I will be attaching these two together. And then as you saw, I did did go to Fabricland and I ended up buying this. I decided that I wanted the straps to match the bright orange, which I think is so cute. I did get two meters of it. This was only like $2 a meter, not even $2 a meter. And I have my Fabricland card now. So I got like a pretty good discount on that. And then while I was there, I couldn't help myself. I bought the raccoon fabric. If you saw my last vlog that I put out like a week ago or something, I saw this raccoon fabric in a fabric land. I'm like, I don't need to buy it even though it's cute. And then I went there and I saw it and I'm like, well, it was 50% off. So regularly $25 a meter cut in half is like, what? What is that like? $13 a meter. So paying like $13 for all this fabric is pretty good. I don't know what I'm going to make out of it yet. Maybe a tote bag, maybe a hat, maybe something. I don't know. But like I saw it, I'm like, I better get it while it's on sale. But anyways, I was there looking for a certain fabric. Just wanted to see if there's any like food related fabrics there, like fast food fabric. They didn't have what I was looking for, but luckily I had thrifted food related fabric years ago. Are you telling me that this material was not meant for this bag? I've never actually used this for anything because I'm like, I don't know what I would use it for. This, obviously. So this is going to be the liner. So I'm also going to be making a liner for this bag. I feel that if you make a crochet item, like a tote bag, putting a liner in it is really helpful. It will help the bag not sag in the future because, you know, crochet is yarn. The more stuff you put in it, the more it's going to stretch out. It's not going to bounce back all the time, depending on the stitches and the yarn you use, etc. But 
for the most part, once you stretch out a crochet bag, it's kind of what it's going to look like. Having a liner inside it is when I put stuff in, the liner is going to stop it from stretching out the bag. I'm also going to be taking this and sewing this onto the liner as well. So then that way this is also not stretching out this. Okay, let's do all the, the sewing stuff where I have to be on the floor or at the sewing machine first, and then we'll do the relaxing stuff later. So I think that's the plan. Here's the fabric. I didn't mention this, but it's actually originally from Fabricland. I didn't buy it at Fabricland. I bought it at like a thrift store somewhere. Let's iron this. Let's do some ironing. I don't want to do ironing. You know that. First off, I need to cut that there. Where are my scissors at? I want a little extra room, so I think I might cut it all the way over here. I need to make a little hem at the top here. To sew this then that way on this side it's nice and clean so I'm gonna go sew that see like how I sewed it like that I'm gonna give it a quick little iron just to flatten it down a bit I'm now going to stitch this up and then stitch this up here is the bag that way when you open it up you're gonna see all the hamburgers and stuff like that what I am gonna do is I put these handles on here pin that there and then we'll move this up a bit pin that there great I'm like I don't need my scissors anymore and then I remembered I do I'll cut it there sew those Here they are stitched up. Now what I normally do is I'll do a square and then I'll go down, I'll go over and then I'll go back up and then I'll do a few little extra lines just to make sure it's really secure. So this is what it looks like from the inside. I wanted to make sure that the handles were on the outer side of the bag so then they won't be seen when I open the bag up. I'm gonna give these a quick steam and then I'm gonna sew them together. To attach it, I'm just using the same yarn as the main bag and with a large yarn needle, I'm just weaving it back and forth, just going back and forth. That's how I'm attaching it. Nothing too fancy, just going back and forth. Finished the one side, so this is kind of what it looks like. I might give it a nice little steam when I'm done. Looking pretty good. I made sure that they were both facing the same way, because you know me, it probably could have happened that I would have done it wrong. I got to attach the bottom and then the sides, and then I can put the liner in. All sewn up, bottom, sides, everything. I don't think it needs it, but I think it would look a little bit better if I just put two rows of orange single crochets on the top. See how it looks. If I don't like it, I'll take it off. But if I like it, I'll leave it on. Instead, I decided just to do one row of single crochets. I think that just looks a little bit better. I think two would have been too much. But I just wanted a nice little border at the top. And now I can add the lining to this bag. What I'm doing is I'm actually going to be sewing it a little bit below where I made this border. And I'm actually using this thread here, which pretty much blends in with the yarn. the bag is done look at this look at how cute this turned out it's so adorable and I feel like if you don't get the reference then you're not gonna really get why I made it but if you get it you get it so let's kind of go over what I think about it and how I made it I think it turned out pretty good again with the lettering it is a little off such as where is it this N I tried to kind of like troubleshoot it I took it apart a few times but it just didn't lie correctly and I think this is the reason why I want to get into knitting because knitting all the rows are like nice and like in a row so it's a lot easier to create text where crocheting everything you can kind of see is on a little bit of a slant it's fine I mean like from far away you can read it you can know what I'm saying I think I might go back in like this end and this end what I might do is get like a little piece of string and maybe just kind of sew it up a little bit so it looks more like an end I just didn't do it before I filmed it. I also probably should have done it before I put the liner in. I even made a note of it. It's fine. And it's actually not that big. I thought that this bag was going to be like oversized so much that I have to make it into a pillow. For a little bit, I thought that this was going to have to turn into a pillow. And the liner inside could not be any more perfect. Burgers 
burgers for the liner. It's the perfect food item for this. And you can kind of see the stitches. Right here is where I just sewed the hem of the fabric. And then you can see my hand stitching. I'm not selling this. This is for me. It can look as messed up as it wants as long as I like it. And that's the thing about crocheting is that, you know, if you're making it for yourself, as long as you like it, it doesn't really matter what anyone thinks. Especially with this bed, because there's probably going to be a lot of people that are like, why did you make that, Michelle? Well, it's hilarious. That's why I made it. Really liked that I went with these orange straps. They match the orange perfectly and you can't even see them on the inside because I sewed them on the outer side of the layer and then I put the layer in. Well, let's kind of just go over the logistics of this project like I normally do. In total, this project took me 13 hours and 40 minutes, roughly, give or take. Sometimes I wander away and then I come back and I'm like, oh right, I was timing myself. Other times I just forget to time myself. So roughly about 13, 14 hours to make. Again, I did have to take it apart a few times. This is also including putting the liner in and putting the straps on. For how much yarn I used, this is how much orange I have left. And for off-white, I used a full one and then I had to go into the second one that I had bought. Now here's the thing, I wasn't actually gonna buy two of the off-white because I'm like, I don't need it. But in the back of my head, I'm like, just in case buy two. And thank goodness I bought two, otherwise I would have had to go out and buy another one. I can't wait to start using it this summer and like all year round because it's probably one of my favorite tote bags. Also, the colors are just so retro together. That's why I picked them. I'll probably use it when I go thrifting. If I'm going to go buy some yarn, give this like a 10 out of 10. Okay, maybe a 9.5 out of 10 due to like some of the little letters like this being a little off, but I think it's pretty good. I will do it for this video. If you're new to my channel, like sewing, thrifting, crafting, and of course crocheting, why not hit the subscribe button? You can also follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok. I think that's it. See y'all have a good day now.